Hello and welcome back to my channel. The name's Rocky and today we'll be doing a little current household video. I've been wanting to make this video for a long while now because I have this family that I really want to showcase because I love them to pieces. So to start things off we have our main sim right here. Her name is Elisabetta Turgena. She is gloomy and creative and she's gonna get the loner trait once she ages up. She is technically 15 years old, but I made her a teen. I mean, it, it makes sense, you know, she's a teen, she's 15. She's the youngest of three siblings. And I love her so much. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Like, because it's true. As you can tell by her clothing, her favorite flower is... Guess, guess... Sunflowers. But she actually has a thing for red sunflowers, but I couldn't quite find something that had red sunflowers. Oops. Yeah, these are just yellow. Let me just back up. There we go. Yeah, she loves sunflowers. She's quite the, the character, actually. She loves painting. She loves drawing. She loves anything that has to do with art. She's a good singer. I mean, not right now. I still have to, like, level her up on her singing skill and her piano skill. So we'll see about that once we jump into gameplay. And I actually already featured her on one of my on one of my videos. It was a short. And it's actually my most popular short that I've uploaded, like ever. It has over 2,000 views, over 55 likes, and I'm really happy about that for such a small channel to get that much love. It was great. And in the short that I'm gonna link up here somewhere, she is actually showcased what she looks like throughout her story. You know, like before the story, throughout the story, after the story, at the very end. And you can see her change, like her, her expression changes, you know, she gets angrier, she gets sadder. And she gets bloody. <laughs> like, I actually put actual blood on her. Whoops. I don't know if I have it here. I don't remember. But I put, like, blood on her face for the end of the story because that's just how her story ends. With tons of blood. But that's not here. Because here, we're gonna be a happy little family just you know living everyday life and nobody dies nobody gets sad i mean they will get sad but nobody will cry over one another and yeah this is just gonna be a happy-go-lucky kind of gameplay Ugh, i hate this clipping but i can't really do much about it other than change her hair and i don't want to do that or maybe i could yeah, let's do that actually. I like that. It's cute. So yeah, here's Elisabetta. I'm gonna show you her another outfit. You will be seeing her outfits as we play along. Ooh, let's not do that. Then we have Elisabetta's eldest sister, Anfisa. She's put up She's put on a bit of weight. She's not skinny, but she put on a little bit of weight because she recently had a baby, actually. And they have a beautiful, beautiful mod that makes Sims gain weight after they have a baby, which is extremely realistic. And, <laughs> and I love me some realism. 
And actually in the original story, Amphisa has very long, beautiful wavy hair, but I've decided that she would chop it all off just completely after the story is over and they get their happy ending. So here she is with her short hair. She looks beautiful as ever. Then we have the middle sibling, Gabriela Turgene. She's there, the middle sibling, you know, right after Anfisa and before Elisabetta. And they are non binary. They love books, they are hot headed and a bookworm. And they're gonna, my objective for, my objective for them is to make them famous because of their books. So we'll see how that goes. I still, I got get famous very recently, so I don't really know how it works. So comments on that would be highly appreciated to help me out with that, you know, making them famous throughout books and stuff. And I really wanted to show off their form formal wear. Oops, not that. This one. Because with their formal wear, they put their hair down. They put on a little bit of makeup because they would never do that for everyday things. But for formal gatherings, because their family is so keen on doing formal gatherings, they, they do it because they love their family and would do anything for them. Then we have Anfisa's childhood friend and husband. Casimir Kasnetsov He is very handsome I really like him He has tons of freckles I actually wanted to show off Let me just... Yeah <laughs> I really wanted to show off Like he has freckles everywhere Some birthmarks Some scars He's been through a lot Like this man has been through a lot because him and Elisabetta are actually the very main, the, the main, main, main characters of the story that I created for them. Like, at the end, they're, they're the last survivors. <laughs> they're the very last survivors of the story because it's a very tragic story. So, yeah, here he is. I'm very bad at styling male sims. Like, I usually just go for, like, base game clothing or... Oops! Sorry about that. Like, base game clothing or... Or, you know, clothes from different packs. And I have very little custom content for my male sims. Because I'm a mess when it comes to male sims. So, yeah. Then we have little Ivan, Casimir's um, young brother. There is, there, as you can tell, there is actually a huge age gap between Casimir and his little brother. But that's how the story goes. Um, yeah, because Casimir is a young adult and his little brother is just a toddler. But that's how the story starts. There's actually in the story. Casimir's mother died on childbirth when she gave birth to Ivan. And because their dad was so sad about their mother's passing, he could not handle that. So he did stuff. <laughs> but we're not gonna get into that. This is a happy go lucky um current household video. We're not gonna get into that. Then we have little Aliona Kuznetsov. She is Casimir's and Amfisa's little daughter. She's an infant, as you can tell. She's super pretty and she has freckles everywhere, just like her dad. And also just like her uncle, little Ivan, who's also got tons of freckles. And he loved them. Her little poofs on her hair. She's the cutest thing. And she has she has Casimir's hair color and Anfisa's eye color. 
you can tell Nafisa has brown eyes so she's not plain looking it's not plain she's a cutie and I love her and then last but not least we have a little doggy Fenris Yes, he was named after that one character from Dragon Age 2 because I love Fenris to death. Let me just turn down my heater. I have my heater on because it's really cold over here. I have my heater on like right beneath my legs and it's kind of way too hot and it's burning my legs a bit. But it's alright. I'll survive. So here we have little Fenris. He is friendly, loyal, and vocal. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you like the rest of the traits from the other characters. So Fisa is romantic, cheerful, and loyal. Little Aliona here is sunny. It's a, she's a sunny infant. Casimir over here, he's hot-headed, self-assured, and active. Ivan is a little silly. And again, Fenris is a loyal, loyal dog. And he has two different color eyes, which I love, and a little pink nose, and I love his little sweater. So I think it's time for us to jump into gameplay. And I have a little surprise. It's not actually a surprise because I already mentioned it. But we have a little baby on the household, a, just a newborn. He was just born recently. I actually had Amphisa give birth. I had Amphisa give birth, and as soon as she gave birth, I started recording the video. And there's a funny thing that happens when Amphisa comes here. And let's have Casimir. Let's bounce, let's cuddle, let's rock. Come on, come on, buddy. When they pick up the baby, this happens. <laughs> I sort of, I feel like, I don't know where this is coming from. Like, I know, you can tell it's a mod, but I have no idea which one it is. If you could help me out with that, too, I would highly appreciate it. So here we have little Pelham, that's his name. Oh, Pelham Katznesov, named after his grandfather. Oh, uh, Amphisa's dad was named Pelham. He did not survive, he, he's not part of the happy ending that I created for this character. It's just like their mom. They did not make it. Oh, what's wrong, Blue, buddy? Um, Elisabetta, could you give her a bath, please? Um, give bubble bath. You're just playing. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Please repair this. Who smashed it? As you can see here, Gabriela has body hair. Like, they're not ashamed of their body hair. They're very self-assured. I don't know if I, I keep forgetting their... <laughs> now they're not self-assured. Not yet, at least. But they love themselves. They love their body. They're very athletic, actually. As you can tell. Muscles everywhere. And as you can see here, I actually have tons of traits for them because I'm using Lumpinos LGBTQ plus mod. So they have like, for example, Elisabetta here is gloomy, creative, demi-romantic, agender, asexual, panromantic, in the closet, pretending gender identity, pretending orientation, muser, and artist. Meanwhile, Casimir here... He's self-assured, hot-headed, active, cisgender, romantic, bisexual, male, in the closet, would be happy to have a child, alloromantic, pretending, orientation, allosexual, high metabolism, and hero. And yeah, they have 
tons of trades. <laughs> they have so many, and I love that. I love mods for that. Oh, Fisa looks so cute. Ah. Yeah. So we're taking care of the baby. Aliana here. Her auntie's taking care of her. And you need to go to the toilet. Please don't go while holding her. Thank you. And the baby that turns... <laughs> the baby that changes color when he gets picked up. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. You're tired. Go eat something. Oh. Are you embarrassed? Oh, you're energized. <laughs> I thought she was embarrassed. Oh, what's the little baby? Oh, she's kind of hungry. Could you please have her try some food? You're practicing yoga. That's cool. Yeah, I actually have an override for their feet, so their feet look better. But that kind of clashes with the socks, so the socks take the shape of their feet. And it's really weird, but I, I don't care. Please polish that to perfection. You like the mashed avocado? Ooh, she liked it. Nice. And we have a little Ivan. I love Ivan's hairstyle because I can see Anfisa putting his hair up like this. With the little braids and the little pins and the little puff of hair. I love it. And we have Gabriela here. They're going to write... Just some writing. Yeah. They're currently writing a book again because they want them to become famous through their writing. I still don't know how you do that, but we will do it. We will. Give me a second. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, and this video is, if you've made it this far, <laughs> I'm just gonna say that this video is not gonna be edited, like, at all, because I can't afford a proper video editor. I've tried, um, free video editors, but they just don't work on my computer. They won't, like, I install them, and they, they just won't open. They just won't work. So, it's very sad. I wouldn't have minded using a, a free video editor, but they just, they just won't work. The only ones that work are the, the paint ones, and I can't afford it. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. So, you'll have to put up with my raw... With my raw reaction and impression and everything about this. So jogging. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna see if it if you guys like this kind of video where you know it's just me talking over my gameplay, not really What's wrong, baby? Oh, poor thing! She fell asleep! I'm sorry! I am so sorry, baby girl! What's wrong? Oh, gosh, I have way too many kids. Way too many kids. Um, let's... Baby care. Change dirty diaper, please. I hate that so much. Let's... I'll feed you. Midstone. 
Oh, he has that stupid ring. Kenan, Why does he have that stupid ring? That's what happens when they style male sims. I just let the game <laughs> style them, and they end up with ugly rings on their fingers. Let's see, you are asleep on the high chair. I'm so sorry. Let's wake her up. You can go take a bath. A bath. You need to eat. No, is there any food out? Grab a serving. Please and thank you. We don't want you taken away. You're taking a bath. Oh, she's using her diaper. <laughs> Baby care. Change diaper. Um, baby care. Clean up. There we go. And now we go to her little nursery. Because she's a little princess who gets her own room. Right here. So put Elena to sleep. Someone needs to mop that. Clean up. Baby's doing fine. The dog is hungry, but he's eating. You're gonna eat. I think you're done. You can angry poop. <laughs> You need to eat. Oh, are you kidding me? Hmm. Repair this, please. And as you can tell right here, we don't actually have issues with money, at least not right now, because, again, in the story, they're a very high class kind of family, so I don't see them having issues with money, like, at all. Oh, look at the doggy! What are you doing, buddy? So, I don't think I'm gonna give any of them a job unless I really need to get money. Let's hang the, the laundry in the closet. Fine. There we go. Wrong. You do your homework? No. Yeah, you did. Uh huh. Go to bed. You're already asleep. You should sleep. I need to sleep and I'm burning my legs with my heater. Dang it. Um, no. Let's take a bath with soaks for you. That with soaks, lavender fall. You need to go to sleep. Oh, it's 1 a.m. in the morning? Are you kidding me? Come on, baby girl, you can sleep. Uh -huh. 
。出てこない、ない。Story. I'll sleep on the top. Oh, my lord. Girl, please. Oh, alright. You need to go to bed. I need to be. And go to sleep. Oh, the dog is sad. Where is sad, Fenris? Be sad. Alright. So they're all going to sleep, and I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed my. <laughs> Completely raw, unedited. Oh, come on, go to sleep. Oh, the baby's crying. Dang it. Afisa. Bound, let's cuddle, let's shoot. No, don't shush him. And let's. Eat breastfeeding. <laughs> The sounds. Oh, you have to make. Come on, buddy. All right. sunny. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a raw sit down with me, play for a little while, kind of thing. And I hope you guys like my family, my current household. Whoops. I'm gonna go deeper into their story if I keep making these videos. I'm gonna go deeper into their story. I'm gonna explain their personalities, why they have the traits they have, and stuff like that. And Umala. yeah, so have a good day, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your lovely comments down below if you want to. And goodbye.